we got the lathe all back together it seems to be working just fine uh, I was watching old brat rider I think it is and he's got this ball turner attachment <clears throat> and I'm looking at the way he made it and uh, it, it looks like lots of mill work milling machine you know and I think I think that's who it is I'll, I'll put a link to the channel but uh <clears throat> I can't justify a mill in here where I'm hardly at all organized and but you know one of them little milling attachments I might be able to pull that off so I was looking at various videos and la di da and it seems like all oh, well the one guy he made a thing you unbolt you take your compound off and you get yourself a nice chunk of angle sort of like yeah and your compound gets mounted on that face and the angle bolts down like that so you have elevation you know uh, you're probably a little bit limited in what you can do but still if I can just take this little thing and maybe another heavy piece of steel to uh, reproduce what the compound mounts to wouldn't be too bad <laughs> and you, wouldn't you know this battery just this camera just came off the charger and the battery's already half dead I seriously want to know what the heck is up with this camera because it's really starting to tick me off I'm about to chuck it in the woods and break out my old thing that, that I could plug in uh, anyhow I'm going to clean this up you know and, and hopefully for my work this would be true enough if, uh, that I could just, you know, mount it right on there. Yeah, that, that'll get cleaned up, and I might, I might put some gussets in there later if I can even uh, get the thing to work at all. I and mean, this is this is just experimenting and having some fun, you know. Uh, plus, making your own tools that's that's pretty cool. All right. That's that's the idea though is to take this and first thing is to get it to mount in place of the compound. So that's that. Here we are. Uh, I had the compound off and these holes that are drilled in here. Uh, well, there's a there's a peg. All right, right here. I got a rubbing. <laughs> okay, that right there is a peg. And these holes are a little oversized on it. It's kind of sloppy. But, you know, for, for this, just messing around, uh, I think that'll work. I just got to kind of round these corners off, take a little bit off the corners so that I can turn this thing without it interfering on these screws. And then... I should be able to take this rubbing here and make a layout of it on on the this face here and drill some holes and then I should be able to bolt this down and swivel it whichever way I want and right now I'm just I'm just friction driving it I got the tail stock run up against the jaws of the chuck I don't know if this is particularly a good thing to do but I do it a lot and it seems to work <laughs> so you know do what works uh, and just so you can see that the crusty Volkswagen bolt and the lathe are actually playing nicely together it's working I wish I could do a more of these type of sh type of shots where I'm actually working instead of just showing you what I want to do and then cut to what I've done but again my camera battery sucks and plus I like to listen to my radio so you know what are you gonna do all right I'll pick it up when I got something there we go that's the first step of this experiment done you can swivel 360 degrees you can see that's kind of sloppy <laughs> uh, 
bit, 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 right. Uh, once I got this tightened down, now it might, it might be kind of a bitch to set it up. Uh, I don't know. I should probably bore that out and, and put a bushing or something in there and, and do it so it fits nicely. But, it's because that, that, I'm sure it serves just more, more purpose than just a swivel. But for now, I've got a piece mounted on there that I can swivel 360 degrees. And then this, the compound, is going to mount on there like that. So I can, you know, run that up and down. Maybe. Unless I find another compound and that I can just leave right on there. Uh, the only hitch I got so far is going to be making a piece that this compound will go to, possibly, because, this off, yeah, that, that ended up being kind of a job, kind of turned the whole damn thing about round, uh, because of this, you know, you've got this, this T groove down in there, and, uh, gonna have to, gonna have to figure something out for that. Either make a couple of screwy ass boring bars, or I don't know, but this part's done. So when I get back to working on this thing, I'll get I'll get some more video of it. All right, later, guys. Take care.